Hey guys, it's Fury91, and I'm talking about cross-platform play. Why? Well, cross-platform play, ever since Sony has basically allowed it, now we have games like Fortnite and Call of Duty that have cross-platform play, right? Well, it would appear that when the PS5 and Xbox Series X come about, cross-platform play is going to be a serious thing. What do I mean by that? It's not just going to be like, what game has cross-platform play? It'll probably be, what game doesn't have cross-platform play? Because... The thing is that when I see all these, like the Google Stadia Connect even, and the EA Play, and the Ubisoft Forward, and they talk about these games and like cross-platform play, you see that a good amount now when people are talking about new multiplayer games. And it would appear that cross-platform play is just going to be what happens during this time with PS5 and Xbox Series X especially. It seems like third parties are going to go for that. And let's face it, it makes sense. You see how many people have been playing at least Warzone in Call of Duty? A big part of that, I believe, is the fact that it is cross-platform play. You don't just have the limitations of playing with people who are on your console. You can play with basically anyone on any device. But here's the thing about that. It's going to mean that both Xbox Series X and PlayStation 5, the reason why Nintendo's out of it, in my opinion, even though Nintendo has a good amount of cross-platform play too, like... Apex Legends is gonna be cross-platform play, and Fortnite, and Minecraft with, I believe, Xbox One. Nintendo, let's face it, they're kind of in a league of their own when it comes to how they advertise their console. But PlayStation and Xbox, I think they're gonna to have to change up the way they market. PlayStation especially, why? Because PlayStation, if you recall, one of the main reasons why I believe PlayStation was so against cross-platform play at times was because PS4 was dominating the market with the most consoles and people, if they wanted to play with their friends who most likely owned a PS4, would have had to get a PS4. And, and cross-platform play may have stopped people who were mostly getting PS4s just so they could play with their friends. And that's not going to be a thing, I think, when the Xbox Series X and PS5 are released. I think most of those games that are third-party are going to be cross-platform play. I think it's going to come to a point where there are less third-party games that don't support it as opposed to the ones that do. I think both are going to have to really prepare because cross-platform play is going to seriously open up a lot of doors. Now, unfortunately, I could see the dark side of this because we already kind of see that with Call of Duty. Remember how PlayStation has, I think, the survival mode that Xbox won't be getting until, I think, this fall, actually. So I could already see that happening. Like, I could already see Microsoft in some cases going like, hey, company we know this is going to be cross but here this mode will only be available for us for the first six months and sony doing the same thing hey we know this is going to be cross-platform but here these items or these things or these levels will only be available to us for the first like year so i could see the negative but cross-platform play is generally a positive thing it unites the gamers and it no longer limits us to, hey, friend, do you own this system? No. Do you own this game? Okay, let's play. Anyway, how do you guys think cross-platform play, if it is as mainstream as I think it will be, how do you think it's going to affect which console actually sells more? Let me know in the comments below. Thanks for watching the next one. Subscribe, and God bless you all.